What is going on folks, Armin Hammer here, and you are about to check out a brand new episode of the Sand Podcast in which we discuss a whole bunch of new stuff like the new rulebook, the new CrossFit.com, and New Year's resolutions. You see what I did there? Hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys are in Wadapalooza, I'll be there too, so say what's up. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Synchronized Ass Noises. Yeah. Hey. Uh, that one's from Niall Cook. All right, guys, let's sync them up. One, it's... two, three. All Boom. right. I hope you guys got that on the microphone. <laughs> I think it's I think it's I think it's Neil. Yeah. Is it Neil and he's just a foreigner? Dude, it looks like Niall. N I A L L. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be I think that might be Neil. You're gonna have to tell us how to pronounce that one, Niall Neil. Cook. Uh, but either way, much appreciated the synchronized ass noise as we were trying to figure out exactly what we were going to do here. And, yeah. and uh, that one is just... That's great. That one's a beaut. That's a beaut. <laughs> it's uh, very special. It's, so we've strong. all had quest bars today, probably. So we, we have some ass noises coming up, of course, the podcast. Do you know what you know what gave me a lot of ass noises in terms mm. of bars? Luna bars. Mm. Those, those mm. bars that are specifically marketed towards women and mm. filled, filled with nothing but soy. Yes, hmm. they would give me the fucking farts. And why would was, you eat soy bars? I'll tell you exactly why. Soy boy. When I was working, soy boy. I was working at this uh, cuck over here. <laughs> I was working at Lululemon at the uh, time. This was years and years ago. You were monitoring, monitoring pants to see if the women if were, they were going sheer. sheer. That's right. Uh, I was surrounded by uh, a bunch of women, mm-hmm. and like, occasionally we would get free stuff. Sometimes mm-hmm. it was like the Red Bull people would come in, and they'd have some free stuff for everybody. Mm-hmm. One time, it was uh, boxes of samples of Luna bars, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Fuck yeah! I don't have to bring any food to the o- <laughs> to like to the office to to the work today. Yeah, I can yeah. just eat all this all these Luna bars." And then somehow, completely unrelated, store smelled like fart all uh, week long. Who knows? Christ! Who knows? Uh, you who converted knows that happen? entire box of bars into farts. That's right. You're I am a fart I'm creating a, machine. <laughs> I am a and I'm a black poop. box. I'm a black box in which you input things Luna like bars. Luna bars yeah. and the output mostly fart. Yeah. Well, I used to methane. joke. I used to joke that what is a dog but a machine that turns money into shit? <laughs> That's basically <laughs> it. That's correct. You know, it's like I'm going to go buy this thing. I'm going to bring it home and it's going to convert dollars into poop. You know, and that's. Well, occasionally, they also destroy some stuff. Yes, that you own. they also break shit. Yeah, arguably yeah. still making dollars in the poop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anything like that where you can make a profit? Yes. That's what I wonder. <laughs> is there anything that's poop is so valuable that it's worth having the crew? Well, there are animals that you can turn into profit. <clears throat> you could buy cows, and they turn money into milk, and you can sell the milk, and oh, that's called dairy. Yes, farming. yeah, but I'm not. I'm not interested in milk. I'm interested in poop. What animal's <laughs> poop is valuable? Also, Ooh. cows. Uh, of, bats work, valuable. but bats are kind of hard what? to. Uh, there's a th- there's a coffee that they talk about in bucket list, man. Oh yeah. There's a coffee oh, that yeah, is the coffee the sh- from the shit like, of some sort of has like cat. monkey shit in it or something. No, yeah, it's, a it's like a cat, cat yeah. shit. Yeah. No, I think there's some coffee bean that like passes through the that's, full that's intestine the tract of a of a goat. I thought it was. No, it's no, a no, cat. No, no, the no, cat. It's a jungle cat. Yes, it's it, it, the, the one it that's actually ferments in the co- stomach. Co- what you were something? What you were referring to is the fact that the apparently the origins of why when in Africa where we started drinking coffee come from goats eating coffee beans and behaving erratically, and from that people began to roast and. Attempt to consume coffee yeah. beans. Yeah. I think the most valuable money to poop machine is probably the chicks from Two Girls One Cup. Mm. That's true. <laughs> I'm sure That's they true. had. They saw a windfall of cash. I'm sure. I'm sure from that. I'm sure there's there was no there was no sort yeah. of like you know loss of self respect. I mean that many that many that views one. online. I mean surely they could they could secure themselves a Squarespace sponsorship. It wasn't even perhaps. readily available. Yes, like they got that many views and it wasn't as easy as just typing it into YouTube. That's you true. Hunt for that shit. That is true. Yeah. Um, I, hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna toss a topic to you. Uh-huh. I'm gonna make sure my dog doesn't choke to death on whatever it is he's fighting with right now. The door. The door. And then we're, I'm going to pick right back up in two seconds. So okay. here's the deal. New rule book released. Hey-o. Discuss among yourselves. Well, one of the things I found interesting the, on the Facebook page was that... Uh, do you care about the rule book? Oh, I, I, I you know, I'm going to... 2020 is my year for I mean, I'm, so. I was planning on being there, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I, one thing I liked, A, we should also talk about in the new rule book that CrossFit posted your thing to their Facebook page, your, your breakdown, which I watched, 
Um, and you That's were right. unblocked. That's pretty much my only takeaway. Well, yeah. I have that. I have that listed as my own entire section. <laughs> an entire section devoted to Armin. That's the only part of the rule unblocked. book that's relevant to my interests. Uh, but okay, so then let's let's quickly look at the rule book. Yes. Right. Yeah. Huh? Uh, Chase, did you read the rule book? I didn't read the rule book. Do you I care? just watched your video. I don't care. It doesn't matter, right? Because I have to win. Me and three other people have to win a sanctioned event. That has mm-hmm. like the likes of Rich Froning. Yep. With his his team. Yep. Travis Williams with his team. And whoever the fuck else with the Why super not team. Just fly I have to, Italy. to go and just beat them. Fly to Italy. This only ends with me, Tanya Harding. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you can't beat these guys physically. What you have to count on is just good vibes. <laughs> just the good vibes that you have between you and your team just bring you through to carry you through to victory. This isn't this isn't Mighty Ducks. That's not how it's gonna work. <laughs> I think what you should <laughs> be Quack. doing Quack. is Quack. Looking for countries which will hand out citizenship. Yes. And because residency is not required at all, mm-hmm. you can be the national champion for a country you're not physically in. That's and true. possibly for a country you've never physically been to. Indeed, there's an interesting gotta, idea. There have got to be some shitty countries out there where you can just correspondence pay for citizenship. You know, pay them, yeah, write, them a, write them a $200 check, they well, give you a certificate of citizenship. The tough part is finding the overlap in the Venn diagram. Between the two portions that really matter. One is you want a country that has a very weak competition of CrossFitters. Yep. We're talking like 2006 level of CrossFitters. So like yes. North Korea. So like North but Korea. has one But it cross? has to have at least one affiliate. Yep. So that's the tough part. It's finding mm-hmm. that overlap that's the tough there's part. There's somewhere yeah, there's yeah, that yeah. miracle, there's that, that Goldilocks. Uh, because if there exists. isn't at least the one affiliate, yep. it doesn't fucking matter if you're yep. the best person there. They're not gonna they're not gonna take a national champion. Mm-hmm. Which is uh you know, I, I had I had a bunch of my friends <clears throat> text me, a bunch of people that I know text me and asked me to be very clear about this. They were like, So because in case you didn't know, Armenian diaspora, mm-hmm. huge community that lives outside of Armenia proper. Uh. Armenia has a lot of athletic mm. human beings. We tend to put out weightlifters and wrestlers mainly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when you're looking at the types of people that are going to maybe succeed at CrossFit, weightlifters and wrestler bodies are going to do okay. And mm-hmm. so there are a lot of pretty decent Armenian CrossFitters yeah. living in Southern California who have Armenian passports yeah. who can represent the country. Yeah. However, I don't think there's an affiliate. I don't think there's an official affiliate in Armenia. They didn't, they didn't post one of those up? Uh, well, last time I checked the leaderboard, it didn't have a ranking for Armenia. So you had a bunch mm. of jacked Armenians who live in SoCal texting you, hey, is there an affiliate in I Armenia? See they're <laughs> texting me if they're like, hey, do I have to be in Armenia if I'm an Armenian uh-huh. citizen? And I was like, mm-hmm. no, man, you can do it right from Glendale. Well, do you, <laughs> okay. well, how, how does one acquire dual Armenian citizenship? Apparently, is there any way you can do uh, that? Oh, yeah. Apparently, it's super easy. Apparently, mm-hmm. Armenia just hands that shit out left yes. and right if you're good, if you're down. So let's Well, yeah, they're still the trying to bounce back, honestly. They'll take anybody they can get for that. How dare you? Did you know that Armenia was listed as the the best country in the world in last last year or some shit. I don't know. Maybe that was just like a chain mail my they mom sent just me. Paid for it um, <laughs> with all the money that they make <laughs> for being the best country. I don't. I don't I know. I see a um, pretty good business opportunity. Why? Why don't we open up a Scalas Nation box yeah. in Armenia and send me to the CrossFit Games? And yeah. it's literally just. I'll tell you. It's a room this big, and that counts yep. as our affiliate. I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. Another Armenian guy is going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's make, fine if someone else does. But I'm thinking we could pay, uh, we make might, people pay for memberships to that box, yeah, but they we, don't actually go. Yep. There we go. We might be in that unique period, though, where you might well be the fittest person of Armenian descent, CrossFit wise. No thinking way. Of one I Armenian met your friend. That guy's way him. more fit than Armin. No, yeah. Chase has met Chase has met multiple. Multiple Armenians who are more fit than I am, but who practice CrossFit. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. yeah. Okay, there, in okay, fact, okay. there's there's an Armenian guy. Uh, who I, I, uh, we used to be like head to head pretty, mm-hmm. pretty good on the open. And then he kept training, mm-hmm. which, you know, weird, weird. Uh, and he yeah. qualified for Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Tyler Tasunian. Oh, oh I was nice. thinking of someone else. Yeah. 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 You, the guy that we saw, my buddy in San Jose, he's, he's still super fit. Chase, uh, Bowie just stole your shoe. Are you going to be, are you okay with that? No, I'm not cool with that. You should do something about it. Cause he's going to hump it to death in a second. Yeah. You. Bowie's a friend of ours from work, um, (laughs) for those listening at home. Yeah. Uh, Uh, Oh, there you go. Good job. You got it back. And I would assume both 
uh, because there is there is uh, correct me if I'm wrong Armin, a very very large Armenian population in Southern California correct larger than lives inside of the um, inside of the capital yeah yeah and so uh, and all of CrossFit also was born in uh, in Southern California so my guess is that the fittest Armenian is probably pretty goddamn fit considering that there's a lot of them in the area where CrossFit is most dense in the world yeah so, I would say so yeah. you know. I, uh, yeah, I, I I would agree, and, and I think it's interesting. It's alternative o- to the fit Beth Games, fittest Armenian. We host our own, own Armenians only. Think about it. I'm in. Doesn't the barbecue alone is going to be worth it? Honestly, if we pull mm. off the fit Beth Games, I don't see how this couldn't fly. This, this well, Ar- Arm- Armin Amirian's Armenian challenge. <laughs> I mean, the name sells itself. It does. Did I get all of those right? Pretty much. Pretty yeah. Much, almost. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Let him fall over. He's he is he's a little muppet gremlin. If it gets uh, big enough, we could have Kim Kardashian show up there. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, yeah. There you go. Or well, Robert Kardashian. There the it the is. Father who was the lawyer. Is he dead? Yeah, but Ro- dead. they also have a brother named Robert. Oh, they call him Rob. What's the fat guy? Name? Fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> he sells socks. I think <laughs> Johnny Cochran. Yeah. No, was it Johnny Cochran? What? What? <laughs> Johnny Cochran. What are we talking about? Right? Johnny Cochran. What the fuck was, are you guys even talking? Johnny about Cochran right? was one of uh, was one of his lawyers, uh, OJ's lawyers, and then Cliff the, is just what? leaving the show. <laughs> Cliff, Cliff is Cliff is out. Cliff's like, I don't know, I, I don't know what's going on there anymore. There. There's been so much getting up during this podcast. Yeah, I am the only one who's remained in his seat. Uh, you know, it, it, this is just a, this is just the whole Armenian crossfit thing is just an example of we now know. That the residency requirement no longer exists, mm-hmm. and nationality, nope. citizenship, is mm-hmm. what's going to define, uh, you know, the national champions, mm-hmm. which l- it answers some questions, but also fucks up a couple of other questions. Mm-hmm. For example, Puerto Rico, American citizens, oh. but are represented by themselves in things like the Olympics, mm-hmm. nice. and uh, a whole large portion of the UK, I think, also functions similarly, yeah, yeah. and so I wonder. If it's an oversight, or Dude, if, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bowie, you hump that that shoe. Fuck it, fuck it, real good. Um, <laughs> yeah, my dog is is going. My dog's going right after Chase's he shoes. Going He's ape. gonna figure that out, dude. That's not gonna keep him. <laughs> We're trying to figure out how to set this little barricade up so the dog the dog doesn't get past it. But he's gonna he's gonna figure yeah. it out. Um, I think they'll Perfect. they'll eventually have to answer these questions because the, one of the first things that I got in, as a message was uh, the Puerto Rico question. Yeah, yeah. You know, people asking me, "Hey, man, like, how, how do you know how they're gonna resolve this?" And that made me think of a couple things. One is not only do I not know how they're gonna resolve this, they don't know how they're gonna resolve this. And the second thing <laughs> is, why am I becoming the frequently asked questions? <laughs> source hmm? of knowledge for yes, crossfit i know it's interesting yeah. shouldn't crossfit handle that shit themselves <laughs> i prefer if it's you i think that works better for everyone well i don't see why people wouldn't ask you because basically <laughs> anything that you say in your videos becomes actual fact it does yep. and it are does. people people are t- i think people are texting you because they don't like reading and they're just like you know what he read it i have his number i can That's reach out point, to him yeah. on facebook right i mean because n- did anyone at this table read, or did we all just watch Armin's video? I skimmed Armin's video. Dude, I made that video without reading it. Yeah. So oh, yeah. none of us read it. We all just watched my video. Man, wouldn't <laughs> that be a great... Oh, man, that would ruin your whole that's channel, a, that, that, but that's would almost a, that's, be worth it. That's a I don't even know if there's, loop if there's actually there. a rule book. Yes. <laughs> Honestly. I, I had that video planned out for weeks. I didn't realize <laughs> they actually released it that day. Yep. Uh, we should create our own alternative rule book, make a video about that. So... Uh, what are some of the rules in the alternative rule book, guys? Go ahead. Oh, you got to be named Beth to participate. Yes. Duh. Yes. Series are required. Yes. Specifically, um, SARMs. All Brazilians disallowed. If you're, <laughs> I don't like that idea. <laughs> no <laughs> Brazilians Why allowed. Why are we doing that? I'm just saying. Listen, yeah. something's going on there. I don't like it. The the end result of all this, by the way, <laughs> is something that you mentioned earlier. The end result of all of these rules, which some of them are very fucking confusing, like how they fill spots that someone has earned multiple spots to the games. I felt like that wasn't that confusing. 
You didn't and, think that was confusing? I watched your video and then I was like more confused than when I started out. I watched the first video yeah. on the minute. Yeah. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And then I watched your follow up video today and I had like a seizure. Yeah. yeah. And now no, I don't no, know no. how it yeah, works. Yeah. It's hella fucking confusing. Yeah. It was so confusing that I've gotten it wrong two out of three times. <laughs> so, and mm. possibly could have got it wrong the third time too. I don't yeah. even fucking know at this well, point. Yeah. Because CrossFit. Which is funny because CrossFit took your video and they posted it to their page, which we will talk about more in a minute. And then in a comment underneath the video, they chimed in and were like, uh, well, Armin did make a couple of mistakes. And I'm like, you for it. I did the video. Yeah, you man. Know? They, yeah. they, 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 which, they uh, which by the way, it. thankful. We're thankful they did. Yeah. They, they endorsed the video, but then also were yeah. like, hey, but he did fuck this part up. Yeah. Without like they they reached out to me too. They're like, hey, you know this part of it you were wrong on. Like your your mm -hmm. backfilling rules you were wrong on. The way that I read the rules yep. is that for each event that Matt Fraser wins, mm -hmm. they will clone him, yep. and then they'll send a replica of Matt Fraser. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there could potentially be five Matt Frasers. That's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. It turns out that's not what's going to be happening. The, if <laughs> Matt Fraser wins multiple events, they'll just go to the phone book and find another guy. <laughs> Whose name is spelled? Whose name is Matt Frazier, and then he will get to go to the CrossFit Games, <laughs> and he gets a check from the competition. It's like Jet Li's the one, except yes. instead of across parallel universes, it's just oh, across the in book. New Hampshire. It's like it's like <laughs> Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse. You son of a bitch with your goddamn reference to whatever that was. Have you, have you guys not seen Spider Man I, Into the I Spider Verse? Yet. I haven't. Oh my god, it's so but fucking good. But I've seen good. Jet Li's The One. I don't understand what you don't mm, recognize listen, that reference. Jet Li's The One, fine, but um, the but whole thing is. I don't think was, we we. By the way, we've all taken a break here. Maybe the most significant fitness related thing that's happened in the last couple months is that Spider Man Enter the Spider Verse came out. And it's a, it's maybe the best movie of the year. I'm saying, if you guys haven't seen it, that's the. Best I want to see it. Fitness related. I want to see it too. I just, yeah. I haven't gotten a chance. I mean, there's to. a lot. I was of really I sick. Do. Oh. We were going to record last week, I thought, yeah. and then I was really fucking sick. Or at yeah. least we, we were like, we were talking about possibly coming back last week. Yeah, I was going to record last week, except you never texted. Except, so yeah, I, I, I did a text. No, it I was never a message. I did yeah. a text. I didn't. I yeah, did yeah. not. I tried not. I didn't schedule it on purpose. Right around Thursday, we were like, should. Should we check with Armin? And Cliff was like, "No, nah, he'll text us if we're gonna do it." And I was like, "Cool." And yeah. we just moved on. Yeah, I didn't text because I was I was sick. I was yeah. very very sick. Now yeah. I'm feeling better. But yep. you really wait. Is Spider Into the Spider Verse is the best movie I've seen of the it three year. Three times. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Three uh, times. Yeah. Well, uh, in, yeah. I wasn't being sarcastic. It really is. So Lord and Miller, of whom we are fans. Yes, uh, we are. Twenty two uh, Jump Street. Yeah. Twenty one Jump Street. Twenty two Jump Street. The Lego movie, uh, they were tasked, apparently Sony approached them about if they wanted to make a Spider-Man movie, and they came back with a couple conditions that they could make one, uh, basically if they, uh, if they wanted to make a Miles Morales instead of a Peter Parker Spider-Man movie, and they wanted to be able to visually do whatever they wanted with it, and they would write the script, and they, uh, it's directed by uh, some, some people who they had worked with previously, but it is... I mean, real. I mean, one of the best scripts I've ever encountered. Uh, it's one of just visually, it is one of the most. It will very quickly become very influential, but it's one of the most innovative films visually I've ever seen. Like it, it integrates like pop art and comic book panels and things into how it's told in a way that's almost overwhelming in how creative it is and then uh it's just and then it's one of the best sort of dramas and one of the best comedies and maybe top definitely top five superhero films of all time if not in the top three i mean it's i can't over praise you i like I, here, let me put it this enough. way let me put it this way <laughs> kara kara <Gross>. could not <laughs> kara could not had just, could not have less interest in seeing that movie. She doesn't like animated stuff for some fucking reason. She doesn't care about superhero movies. She doesn't. There's just no, and so she when she was in town for the holidays, we I was like I just basically dragged her to go see it. And when she got out of the movie, she was beaming with how good it was, and she was tweeting about it, and she's been telling all of her friends that they have to go see it. Just if audience scale is nation mobilize. Go see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It is a masterpiece. Anyway, so that's my fitness-related content. I forgot what we were even talking about. We were. Me, on the other hand, I didn't so much care for. We are talking about how you Matt like Frazier... And, and Kyle's, Kyle's like jerking it off this much and you didn't like it? How did that even happen? 
Oh, no, I'm just joking. Oh, <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> that's a wow, glowing that's, review that from is, Cliff, that's honestly. A, that's a <laughs> huge, that's a hugely positive review yeah. from Cliff. That's very effusive, mm-hmm. Cliff. Calm down, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's only so much energy we can yeah. take from you right now. So you were talking about actually how the backfilling process oh, yeah. works. Mm. Hella confusing. So they I replace thought, everybody with Spider-Man. I basically yep. thought it was going to work something like this. Uh, how would Spider-Man do at the CrossFit Games <laughs> is win. the question. There. He would yeah. absolutely oh, fucking yeah. I think win. it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. 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 The long distance running, if he did not have the assistance of spider web slinging, he might be kind of iffy on there. I don't know how his slow twitch muscle fibers work there. he's pretty super explosive. fucking strong yeah the ground yeah. the ground yeah. the okay. force ratio yeah. thing yeah. Right? yeah i think he probably would just beat everyone and everything he, yeah, even if it was sense. open to all the other avengers he would still win mm-hmm. question is matt fraser spider-man think about it's it. kind he's of been holding think back about. this whole time i've never seen his grip fail not once not i've once. never seen them in the same room at the same time yes, because you want to think that matt fraser would be like captain america or iron man mm-hmm. like someone badass but he's actually spider-man he's yeah, well, well because captain america needs to be tall <laughs> spider-man can be uh you <laughs> know compact size, size. <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah no yeah it's 100 percent Here's how I thought the backfilling process <laughs> would work. <laughs> the most ambitious crossover ever. I thought the backfilling <laughs> process was going to only fill in like one extra spot for every like multiple qualifying method that uh, uh, someone who got a spot at the games gets, right? So like if you if you like sucked up like six spots by being a national champion and in the top 20 and then winning four sanctionals that they would only fill in one extra spot behind you Mm -hmm. that's not the case even though it's just the language in the rule book is super fucking unclear it the way it actually works is they're going to take the national champions and then they're going to take the top 20 in the open if any of those top 20 in the open are national champions they will they'll fill those spots in with the next people Mm -hmm. in the worldwide leaderboard that are not national champions Mm mm-hmm and then think of it of the next couple seasons where the open happens first. If those top 20 athletes go on to win sanctional events, they will invite the next person at the sanctional that doesn't have a spot yet mm-hmm. via national champion or top. That's how it works. Right. So it could potentially be like seventh place. Exactly. Like <clears throat> if you look at Dubai, it's like yeah, one, it two, three, Mayer. one, two, three was uh, uh, Matt. BKG Willie George, right? Yeah, all three of those guys could be country winners. Yeah, yeah. BKG is almost certainly going to win Iceland. Willie George is almost certainly going to win France. Travis Mayer is fourth, which means it's very likely that Travis Mayer is going to get the invite from HQ from Dubai. If Travis Mayer places top 20 in the worldwide in the open, it goes to fifth, which I think was Ruben. Krennikov. Yeah. But Krennikov's probably going to win Russia. Probably <laughs> Russia. win Russia, too. So then it's going to go to sixth. I don't even... I can't remember. Street Horner. Mm-hmm. Was it Street Horner? Yeah. Well, there you go. Street Horner is finally <laughs> qualified for the CrossFit Games. Congratulations, Again. Street. Again. Second time. Second, Second time. time. Second you thought with that uh, that weird first name and held, hold you back your whole life, but now you finally made it. No. You are in the CrossFit Games. You know what? I'm going to go on record as saying Street Horner is okay having the first name Street as his first name. He's he so, sounds like a comic book character. He's so gifted in so many other ways, in his fitness, in his handsomeness, yeah, in his symmetry. Annoyingly handsome. It's not, it's not fair. At least let him have a funny name, right? We can we give, give him Street. I don't even think it's funny. It's just different. He sounds yeah. like a villain. That's fine. I'm just saying, like... Let's let's but have something. I'm just saying, at least if one of your names is going to be Street, it should be your last name, so that your it sounds like a street name. Yeah. Horner Street would be an okay name because that's like as if you see a sign there, Horner Street. That that actually makes sense. Street Horner, it's weird, it's backwards. It's like Haywood Floyd. Mm-hmm. That name just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you just come up with that on top of your head? No, what is Haywood two, Floyd? Two, two, it's two thousand one: A Space Odyssey. Yeah. The, oh. the the yeah. one the one of the few human characters. Yeah, I don't I don't remember that. Two thousand one: A Space Odyssey, one of the oh, best gosh. movies Deep dive. ever. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> did you guys listen to the best of? Yeah. By the way, I haven't yet. No, oh, no, no. We did no. a best of here. For yeah, yeah. I did, oh, I didn't I did that, the best no. of. Yeah. And what is, uh, it? is it just the I listened. Dicks? You listened to it. Thank you very much, <laughs> Chase. The the you mentioned two thousand one, and it came. It reminded me because there's a large segment of that show. Uh, the best of which was you telling the story of going to see 2001 oh, yeah. in LA <laughs> and uh, that was uh, 
that really tickled my fancy. So if you haven't yeah. listened to the best of, it's definitely best of 2018 is good. Also, I was reminded, totally forgot about this, guys, but there was a portion of the 2018 calendar year in which we worked for another company while we were making this show All right. and we had a fifth co-host. All right. I, f- <laughs> I remember him now. Mm-hmm. What was his name again? <laughs> Daniel, we love you. Oh, that that's awkward. Yeah, you it was really cut weird. Him out of the best of I was li- I was listening back and someone had suggested like old podcast like a like, like episode Daniel's like 85 or something. In. Yeah, and, and Daniel's voice popped up and I was like, "Oh, fuck." What that was this year? That was this year. It seems like so long. It ago. feels like it was five years ago. Yeah, that is crazy. No, really Chase, crazy. do you not do you not feel like time is like a construct and we're all fucked? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely a flat circle. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, that show's coming back. Mahershala Ali, yep. man, yep. on I Sunday, heard, the I've Great heard, Black Hope. I've heard the uh, the third season, and uh, I've never a friend who's seen the first. Is it airing yet? I, Sunday. I, as a friend saw a couple advanced episodes and said that it was real good. So as of as of this recording, it's coming out on Sunday. When this is airing, it have it would have come out the night out. before. So maybe we can uh, let's just talk about it. Like we, we already watched it. Oh shit. We need we should start watching. It was so we should start watching. You know that really sad pop song that plays at the beginning? Man. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel sad every time there. <laughs> and it's but 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 what makes me what what I could really focus on to get over my emotions was that awesome title sequence. Yeah. Oh my god! You saw there. You saw blood. You saw knives, and you saw butts yeah, all in that title. And it sequence. made me anxious for the episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The hook at the very end. I don't know what's uh, going to happen. On really blew my mind. That like that little like teaser for mm-hmm. for the next episode. Mm-hmm. I was like, I didn't fucking see that coming at all. <laughs> I I want to know. Oh, we're we're, just, we're we're pretending that we saw it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Cliff was literally talking about the opening sequence. Weren't, weren't you? No, no. Oh, we were just making it up. The title sequence for the first season. <laughs> wow. The title sequence for the first season of True Detective was really fucking good. Right? Well, well, yeah, yeah, it was. That's, that's the joke. It's like yeah. the third season's gonna have a good title Man. sequence. Okay. We say, sad pop there was song a and butt, knives the, and butts. There was there was <laughs> there was like skulls and, and butts and things. Yes, in the Kyle, first that, one. That, that's why that's the joke. I can predict that that's what's also gonna yeah, be in season three. I get it, but you could have. Pick something that was further outside the realm That's than true. just having literally described the first season's opening sequence. In case you then guys I would are have wondering, been in on the game, I would have been right there with you. None of the four of us actually talked to each other over the, <laughs> the past game. Two weeks, the game which is I'm trying the to rustiness here. The game I'm trying uh, to play, which we should riff on, is more things that we can predict oh about yes. the season, such that um, mustaches, yeah, the, mustaches, the Matthew McConaughey cameo, smoking, Ooh. lots of smoking, lots it of smoking. blew me away. Absolutely. How many times? Matthew McConaughey makes mistake. a return. Mistake Same Mahershala universe. Ali for Idris Elba. Mm. It's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, um, Mahershala Ali. Whatever the <laughs> fuck his name is. You know what else he's in? Yeah, Fucking Moonlight. Spider-Man Moonlight. Into oh, the Spider Verse. You sons of bitches. Sign wow. me up. I love that. I dude. think so. I might. <laughs> Might have made that up, but I'm pretty How sure he's he, in Wow, it. that's fucking racist. He's an animated character. <laughs> he's probably in it. Does he play a black Spider-Man? Uh, they're, they're, you know the Spider-Man's black, right? Yeah, in, the in Miles one is, Yeah, right? Miles is black, yeah. And there are several, other, there are several other black ones? characters. He plays, I think, I want to say, I thought he played his uncle. Or no, he wears okay. Jordan Breads, I'm actually. figure this shit out right now. So the big, the big sort of end result here mm-hmm. that everyone should care about with the rule book being released the most important thing to come of this entire process is that finally i've been unblocked from crossfit Look, games facebook yeah. guys it happened big it finally party happened. everybody that's right uh it's official we big did point. it mission accomplished so thank you very much mm-hmm. well, let's just yep yeah the outsider, the rebel against the system, now is the system. At yeah. what point will you start becoming corrupt? I yep. am. I am already. I am already counting down to the moment at which I have a inadvertently HQ shirt on. Advertently <laughs> get myself blocked again. Yes, mm. it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, one of the things I thought was really funny was uh, in the comments underneath your uh, the video where you got unblocked um is that at some point and it's almost it's weird it's almost as if we've been right all along uh crossfit was commented like I, some girl I, I couldn't tell if it was sarcastic or not where she was just like i can't stand this guy or something like Whoa. that I couldn't is this or, on facebook it's on facebook okay I'm but what i liked facebook. about it is a meet crossfit official <clears throat> like crossfit games uh, facebook page responded uh and said you know 
Well, we and I actually took a screen grab of it. Let me make sure I get the quote 100% right. I didn't see I'm, this. I'm goddamn professional. I'm hyped. So they said, uh, wrong usually, screen grab. Usually when... Oh, it was on my computer. I don't have just it Just a me. bunch of Anyway, the point, point being that they, they, they essentially said, uh, uh, you know, it's like, hopefully there will be lots of creators who will arise that we can forward the thing on to. And so, uh, and I think, again, point being that Point being that A, you know, you think you're on your way out. Yeah. Saying. But B, B, uh, I think that we were talking about when this, when you they first started forwarding your content, when they first shut, when they first laid off all the CrossFit media employees, way, 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 way back before they announced anything officially, we began discussing it. Oh, this is really great in a way because it it it, it indicates that they are encouraging other media sources to cover. You know, like real sports do. Uh, and here they are officially blue check mark and all encouraging saying, you know, guys, we're posting this guy's content cause he's creating good content. That's covering the ongoings of the CrossFit games. Why not other people do this? And maybe you too could be forged onto the CrossFit You page. too can be unpaid to create media <laughs> for us. Correct. Exactly. Correct. That's sub- why. Yeah, the subtext I gathered, because I saw you referred to for the first time yeah, as a content creator multiple times there, is that, okay, guys, content creators, please come forth. We hate just forwarding videos from this guy that we actually don't like. So please, <laughs> other content creators, We had creators him blocked come up forth. until recently. Yeah. The... Yeah. the the vibe that I get as well is that it's all it's been happening through gritted teeth, yeah. just like oh this motherfucker, yeah. and just like just trying to get uh-huh. something out there, which I think you know, I don't know. Usually when someone when someone comments, I can't stand this guy. Yeah, yeah. I I usually find it and agree with them. Yeah, yeah. same because <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, yeah. come on. Oh yeah, who can stand? But him? it this was a ridiculous. woman, so I really just think that means she wants some of the D. <laughs> yes, it's God true. Damn it. Misogynistic phrase one from this episode. <laughs> uh, I think you missed an opportunity by not naming your website or your YouTube. Arm and Hammer sucks, and in yeah. playing into it like Primus does. Yes, oh, yeah. it's so not a bad idea. Everybody that comes to you will be like, Arm and Hammer does suck. He sure cool. does. And you might also get some. <laughs> you might also get some different traffic that might be awkward. Yeah. Uh, oh, got it. Got the quote. Okay. Oh, he found it. So uh, somebody who I won't name said, can't Named stand them. him. Uh, to which Arm and Hammer replied, he's the worst. Oh, oh, I, I did. Yeah, I yeah. did find okay, it. You okay. did. You already replied. To which CrossFit Games then replied, this is a great opportunity for content creators and media outlets. We look forward to seeing personalities arise. Yeah, yeah. they really <laughs> should because yeah, yeah. the last couple things that they've uh-huh. shared from outside media is from the South China Morning Post. <laughs> Which I believe is Southern China's third most popular morning post. <laughs> and they have some articles about the CrossFit game season as well yeah. that, that CrossFit has shared. And a couple things from our former, my former employer, Flow Elite, has yeah. been shared. Yeah. Uh, rife with inaccuracies, <laughs> which is fantastic. Uh, what I will say is this, is it, it may, perhaps in some ways, uh, you know, the... It, though it does agree with what we've said it, in the past, yeah, or just confirm any things we've said in the past, it, it it augments it slightly in that I realize that, oh, the reason perhaps they're forwarding all of your content is they're attempting to show that, hey, if someone creates content of value covering the CrossFit Games as a carrot, we will forward that content, we will put it on social, we will blow you up on social. Unfortunately, at the moment, the only option they have is arm and fucking hammer. So they just have they, 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 they can't they have to. Kyle, they did a whole documentary on Craig, Craig Ritchie. Ritchie. Yeah. Oh right. Craig right, Ritchie right. Has, oh, yeah, he has his that. own uh-huh. entire CrossFit yep, uh-huh. Journal documentary. Where the yeah. fuck is our CrossFit Journal documentary, you piece of shit? <laughs> I know we we should <laughs> come on, fucking journal. I know. We should the journal, the CrossFit Journal. Wait, 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 you guys! CrossFit Journal takes submissions there for things on there. We should make our own. Yeah, Arm and Hammer, Arm and Hammer, the unsung hero documentary. (laughs) That would Uh, get it to the the CrossFit Journal. Uh, Yeah, they need making up all sorts of all sorts of fake, heartbreaking uh, biographical details Mm -hmm. there about how much you had to struggle to get to this place. Interview Mm -hmm. Brent Brent Fikowski on what he thinks about Arm and interview Noah. Interview Jacob Hepner and just have them all yeah. shit on him. Brent Fikowski <laughs> should do a documentary on us. Brent. <laughs> Making Why Brent Fikowski. All out. <laughs> <laughs> all out. That's right. Uh, Wait, what? That's it. 
<laughs> that's it. You got the concept. That's, that's it. That's the title. Yeah. Yeah. All out parentheses of fucks. <laughs> 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 oh yeah nailed it that was awesome hmm. um mm-hmm. yeah so i'm officially unblocked and uh the first thing i noticed uh something that i honestly shouldn't care about but but son of a bitch something that i shouldn't care about which was apparently facebook now has this thing called uh like top fan mm. where if you interact with a show enough uh, not a show like a facebook page enough you get like labeled a top fan mm-hmm. And uh, I was, I'm like, dude, I'm fucking, I'm like six and a half years behind yeah. on this top fan thing, or I definitely would be the top fan on the CrossFit as Games some, Facebook As page. someone who just got unblocked, you're, you're technically right now the bottom fan. I'm the, I'm the mm. worst fan you're of the, the CrossFit worst fan. Games. You're starting out at the bottom. Yeah, I'm at yeah. a negative right now. More it's of fucked. A, the guy who was top fan there was appeared to be the one talking the most shit or uh, telling the most uh, negative jokes about CrossFit there. So Probably. Yeah, that, that's what the only post I saw from that guy. I don't even remember what I did. I don't remember who I threatened to fight or <laughs> who I called an asshole. But yeah. someone down the line took it personally. Yeah. And for six and a half years, my voice was silenced on the CrossFit <laughs> Games Facebook mm-hmm. page. Yes. Uh, and now look where we are. And now I'm the official are. face of the CrossFit you Games the, media. You're the face of CrossFit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. CrossFit, the organization. Isn't right. that amazing? Yeah, it is. Pretty goddamn much. Times. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. We're doing yeah. it, guys. We are officially CrossFit's media department Speaking now, of... Officially. Uh, we're just not getting paid for it. Speaking of CrossFit yeah. and the official face of CrossFit, um, did you guys... I, I mean, I think the answer to this is going to be no, but did you guys see CrossFit.com changed? Yeah, dude. Oh, no. not lately. No, no. no. Yeah, at the turn of the year. CrossFit.com uh-huh. has gone, gone through a radical redesign. Yeah, yeah there's another. a lot of okay. coming soons. There's a lot of coming soons. They basically to make it less games-oriented and more CrossFit health-oriented? It kind of. So Chase and I, I don't, are we allowed to even talk about that? I don't, I don't think they can stop us now. Yeah, who gives a shit? When we were at mm-hmm. CrossFit HQ, Chase and I unofficially kind of saw what the plan was for CrossFit.com down the line. And it's kind of hinted at with these changes, but essentially it's going to have all these different sections that are pertaining to different things. So, for example, they have not the games page anymore. They have the sport page, which is the sport of CrossFit. They don't have... Uh, you know, they, they have the affiliate page still. They have like the health page, which is where a lot of all this stuff is going to be. They have the the CrossFit home, mm-hmm. which is supposed to be this idea of like getting CrossFit into the hands of people who are either training out of the garage or yeah. are in, you know, um, I guess like populations that are less able to get into uh, gyms or boxes. Yeah, it's like more like an education piece and then a how to like incorporate it into your life. Yeah. Um, Interesting. And then they also have like the battles page, which, which I is think is super baller. Yeah. The because battles page? From my understanding of how that's going to work is that's where they're going to post all their like op- open standing legal mm. battles. Ooh. Oh, so, so they, they have a whole like section just about all the fucking headbutting. All yeah, the headbutting they're doing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. where they can just inform and educate um, like crazy. this is what we're fucking doing because these people are shady as shit. I'm trying to think, is there? Yeah, because CrossFit is a is a private company. I'm trying to think if there's another. Is there a company? Because organizations do this, like um, I don't know, like the ACLU, but it's like like as a corporation that is really a fitness corporate, like that just makes part of its brand. Like, hey, we're actively involved in like suits and battles to try and upend things. I don't know. It's no, interesting. I don't it's think like anybody a, else uh, does that. No, it's very interesting. But uh, yeah, so the new site, and it, it, I think the idea of the new site is, I think they're they're gonna try and create these like funnels of like uh, not membership, but almost like your account. You like mm. make an account and a profile, and that profile is tied to like anything you do that has to do with CrossFit. Yep. So you can sort of use that profile to see where there are gyms near you, where there are level one seminars near you, to see where. You know, uh, you know, if you're just looking for a trainer, where the local trainers are, but you can also use that to sort of check in on your open registration to see what country you're a part of, and like, like I think there's there's a lot of different uh, functionalities in the mm-hmm. site that right now, like Chase said, it's it's almost all set as coming soon. Like yeah. they basically flipped the switch, and when we all saw, I guess we can call it main site 2.0, which was the mm-hmm. last redesign mm-hmm. of CrossFit.com. I'm pretty sure every single one of us hated it. 
mm-hmm. to the point where I'm pretty sure every single one of us stopped going to CrossFit.com for any fucking reason yeah. whatsoever. Mm-hmm. I certainly haven't been in a very long time. And I, I, I remember going back when it was 1.0, mm-hmm. like, you know, the yellow front page and the big long... Every day, went back Yeah, just go and, and check it out and see what was going on. But uh, I think when they when they switched over it had this a lot of the same issues they switched over and it lost some functionality early on and then uh they built up this whole robust you know set of information around it for example mm-hmm. the last couple years dot com has had with every single workout they've had oh bowie what do you need buddy what do you need? tell us what you need buddy he says let me in that bedroom yeah i think he does want to get in that bedroom but your mom is on the phone so you're gonna have to wait for a second be patient, buddy. Bowie's a street urchin they, we they, found yesterday. They had videos of Rory McKernan talking about each workout. Every right? workout had like yeah. Pat Sherwood or Rory McKernan or someone breaking down what the workout was. Like the workout they, of the day. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. workout of the day. Oh. They had scaling options for every single workout. Nice, yeah. You know, what to look for, I, I, why I you should scale it. That. That, that is very nice. Something they never done. Gone. All that's gone. gone. Okay. None of it's there anymore. Oh, In oh. fact, most baller thing I've ever seen Greg Glassman say or do. Oh. Someone commented, hey, I, I really miss those those scaling options and the explanation videos. Like, I, I wish that was all there. You know, I really liked seeing that. Greg Glassman himself jumps onto the comment stream on CrossFit.com and goes, I didn't like it. <laughs> and therefore, we now know why it's gone. Yes. God it's damn. gone because he didn't like them. Yes. And so uh, it's, it's interesting to see the functionality sort of take mm-hmm. not one step back, like, like several major steps back mm-hmm. you know like the search functionality is fucked for now it's like yeah. kind of hard to find anything you have to go back one workout at a time if you're trying to find previous mm. workouts mm. um so i think they're going to rebuild a lot of that functionality but yeah. it does seem a little strange that you know for a company that's really focusing on health yeah. and outreach and trying to get as many people as possible involved in this thing yeah. that they would just be like mm, we don't need to offer any scaling information anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm just curious why Greg Glassman didn't like it uh, beyond. I mean, I guess I get the vibe of just putting out a simple challenge out there and you guys interpret that however you care to. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I'm curious as to what his thoughts are on yeah. that. It also could be a work in progress. And it sounds like a lot of CrossFit's changes <laughs> of late, a lot of CrossFit's changes of late have been about reallocating their internal resources to you know uh, you know, away from where they're putting it obviously the media department the games the regionals all of that into other areas and as someone who has worked for a company of uh, you know that's not that big for several years all sorts of shit gets left undone on websites not necessarily because a decision has been made but they change something and then they just don't have the personnel available or it's six months down the line it's the next line item to huh. be done. And so it just might might be in the works. I don't know. You said there's a lot of coming soon stuff on the website. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, lots. Yeah. 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 Lots of stuff. So it might be coming soon. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Uh yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah. I don't know a lot of things. That's definitely one of the things well, I don't know. We should <laughs> just call Greg up. Yeah. Yo. Hey, Greg. Big G. Can we get Greg Glassman on the podcast? What's up, Glassman? Yeah. I, that's what you'd call him if he was in a 90s movie and his name was Glassman. You'd be yeah. hey, Glassman. Yeah. You half of, full or half empty today. Nice. Mm-hmm. Isn't there that a whole movie that's about Glass? That? No, Glass. Oh, that's right. Glass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I have to say. Yeah. Glass. Yeah. Yeah. What, why I'm looking forward to Glass is... Uh, Jack James Jack, McAvoy. Jack James McAvoy, exactly. Mm-hmm. Same. That is all CGI. It has to be 100% CGI. Yeah. There's, 100, no, there's no, no way no that guy can way. put that, that, yeah, that like, like even his his tra- like Just his traps are CGI. There's no way that guy it's, has it's, traps It's like obnoxious. He looks like a an animated character almost. And you would think like... Well, he looks they, like a comic book bad guy in yeah. some ways. Well, weird you, how they would do that. If you look at uh, <laughs> if you look at how they uh, they uh, did what was it Captain America back in the day? Some of that Chris Evans, some of that Chris Evans you're seeing a little bit enhanced. You can also appreciate watching the uh, the uh, glass trailer. What different levels of work different actors do for different roles. Yeah. James McAvoy is acting the hell out of every second of that movie. 
you know, and Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis. I love Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, up Willis. Up yeah. Bruce Willis yeah. is just sitting there being Bruce Willis, yeah. kind of mumbling a line or two here or there. Mm-hmm. But uh, and those guys, uh, not not only do they not get paid the same, Bruce Willis got paid a lot more money. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that's mm-hmm. what that's what happens when you're in Die Hard. You can do less and make more. You guys ever hear that story uh, Kevin Smith tells about Bruce Willis? Yes. Oh yeah, 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 oh, man. Right. I stopped yeah. liking Bruce Willis right after that. <laughs> Wait, what? That what story? Tough, that's that's a tough one. You know, how can you not be nice? No, it's, it's old Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith yeah. How how old do you think James McAvee is? I would guess 35. 33. 41. 39. Hey, 39. Also, he looks pretty built. Yeah. Oh, like he like he wears shot? a shirt. He wears a shirt well. Mm. Probably a baby. Yeah, from the small. side of the Again, s- just just looking at this picture here, I I was skeptical when you guys were saying that's CGI muscle. It's like, here's he, the thing. He it, it, w- there's some some of the shots are maybe a body double. Uh, but for the rest yeah, of it, it's like, no, he went through the yeah. standard Hollywood procedure yeah. of getting a trainer and chemical assistance and yep. diet I, in yeah. order to get muscle for the movie. I need so to. So it's like, that's all. It's not crazy levels of muscle either. It's like, it's like, yeah, that looks like what that guy could accomplish with some steroids and diet mm-hmm. and for in six months. I need, yeah. I need that picture panned out to show all the play school stuff around him. Because that that is just a regular sized person next to a whole bunch of preschool sized stuff. <laughs> That's all that is. Yeah, I mean, there's even set footage of him uh, on the glass set, and he looks. I mean, he looks pretty pretty yeah, thick. Yeah. He looks like a thick boy. I mean, in Hollywood, thick boy is like 165 pounds. That's true. So That's very true. Well, know. it's also like he went from just being a skinny normal guy to, of <clears> course, <throat> taking steroids, which is what they do. Uh, in, mo- in Hollywood when it's time to uh, become a superhero. And I'm sure, I'm confident that he uh, pu- you know, put on the 20 pounds maybe or whatever it was, maybe 15 pounds of muscle. Who knows? Who I'm cares? Yeah. Get After some steroids in you, man. Fuck it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's Professor do it. X is, is j- j- jacked now. Yes. Yeah. Dude, that's Patrick badass. Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> and that, the next uh, movie is just walking on his fucking hands. His legs <laughs> limply <laughs> flailing <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Uh, did you guys, we, we've been gone over Christmas and New Year's. Mm-hmm. Did you guys set any New Year's resolutions? Mm. Did I? Um, y- no, not really. I have, I have, they're not terribly interesting. I'm going to try and meditate every single day in January because I'm using one of those new meditation apps. Oh, it's tight. Yes. How uh, many times have you already not done it? I, I've i been fucking solid so far. Wow. I've made Shit. all the days. So I've been doing it every morning and it's uh, it's interesting. And so I'm using Waking Up, the Sam Harris uh, the Sam Harris nice, meditation dude. app. But cool. it's, good. it's good. I'm starting to kind of get it now. Uh, like the first time I tried using Headspace before... And like everything else, I approach meditation competitively. Uh, and so I would get disheartened a few days in because I'm just like, I feel like I'm not meditating hard enough. Like, I feel like I don't, I'm not like nailing this meditation thing. Right. And one point that Sam Harris emphasizes in the app, which was illuminating to me, is he's like, nothing magical should be happening during the meditation. He said it's basically like going to the gym. And the stock footage, that, sorry, the stock image on the app that they use to illustrate the mental training lesson. Day lesson is, of course, like a CrossFit uh, uh, stock image of some girl with like a tattoo sleeve with bumper plates and a bar, and they're like, mental training. And they nice. create, and so I'm like, boom, you're speaking my language, Sam Harris. And it's like, you got to put Chick the time tattoos, in. tattoos, barbell. Yeah. The twi- Exactly. <laughs> Uh, which really is, if you look at my Instagram feed, that is the language I speak. Mostly <laughs> tattoos, chicks, and barbells. Um, but Whoa. the point being that I, when I started thinking about it that way, I was like, okay, I'll just put the training in, and then maybe I'll have that, that you know, that I'm starting to do CrossFit moment where I'm like walking past a mirror, and I'm like, hey, all right, body's looking good. But for my mind instead, yeah. where I'll be like, hey, You're maybe. You're walking past someone, exactly. and you hear their thoughts. Exactly. Or I'll levitate like Dalsim. <laughs> In, uh, uh, oh, Street how many Fighter. how many days in a row do you have to meditate before if you, you get can you win? If you, you yoga get flame, you get one power up. If you do three sixty, if you do three hundred and sixty five days, you get one power up. If you can accumulate ten power ups, you can levitate. So you got to go. You got to go hard for ten years. But how much for the stretchy arms and legs? That's 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 fifteen. Um, wow, it's like a bonus. It's like a carrot for keeping going past the ten to fifteen. But <laughs> point being that I started to. Uh, here was the first thing that happened. I was at the office the other day, and it's a lot about 
Uh, it's a lot about just trying to get a little bit behind your emotions and trying to think about the thoughts that uh, that are actually leading to anxiety and things. So I'm at the office. It's time for me to go make my coffee. The coffee machine is broken. And I've had an immediate rage reaction, which normally, and, and I could tell because I grabbed the coffee machine and shook it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and instead... Jesus and in, Christ. And instead of... The usual thing of just that was ju- that's just how I'm gonna feel for the next hour, <laughs> which is kind of how I've operated for the last 33 years. Uh, instead, it was like, oh, I observed that rage reaction happen, and I was like, that was that was interesting. That must be what Sam Harris was talking about. And then all of a sudden, after that, I was like, Still I felt fine for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm pissed. I used to be pissed about 22 hours a day. Because I'm pretty sure about three or four hours while I'm sleeping, I'm really fucking livid. <laughs> and I'm just sleeps angrily. Yes. Uh, well, I just wake up in a sweat and my teeth are clenched and I'm just like, ah. But I've been doing the meditation thing for about a week and it's, I'm starting to at least glimpse what it working is going to be like. So I'll check, you guys will check back in on the podcast, see how the meditation is going. Uh, but enjoying it so far Hmm. i'm two days into the same meditation app yeah i've not i've not not been angry for these last two days so it (laughs) hasn't kicked in quite yet you'll get there i being five days ahead of you i'm far more (laughs) right you've had don't worry buddy you've had 250 percent more exposure to this this is that's true you're basically an expert compared to this is true there is nothing i can't pretend to be an expert in after seven days i mean pretty much when i get into anything right around day four or five i start speaking condescendingly to other people about it i've noticed that's about as long as it takes so if i were to get into i don't know rock climbing i would start talking down to people about rock climbing about day four or five it doesn't take long for me Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. at least Mm -hmm. feel like i'm an expert in something so Mm. you guys get it I get it. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're sharing. We're sharing real goals. Yeah. Real goals. I'm just gonna back squat 500 and <laughs> front squat 400. Uh, That's pretty good. And yeah. uh, if I can, if I can successfully get Kyle to blow out his quad in an attempt to keep up, that <laughs> is a major win. I would say that I, I at this point I just need to work my way back because these I have not been in the gym. No, start where you sin. left off. Yeah. I need to work back up to to that four o to four o five uh, again because I have taken the last several weeks off and it's been nice. It's going to be hard when I get back. So, yeah, it is. Word. Yeah. My goal for this year is to be less fat at the same time. Crucially, same time uh, this next year mm. because so far that's tended to uh, backfire the last couple of years. There. Whatever progress is made mid year is killed. Exactly, by the exactly. I gained, I believe, I weighed myself before Thanksgiving, and from Thanksgiving to the day after uh, New Year's, there I gained twenty six pounds. <laughs> so uh, now a lot of that was water weight, but not all of it was water weight. What's what's an impressive zercher squat? An impressive hmm. zercher squat. Yeah, I don't know. Like pretty, like I'd say. Which one's the zercher squat? It's the one where your arms are in front of you. It's in like the crook of your elbows. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right. like it's just how 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 much can you squat before you cut your arms off? I right. think mm. I think of that like um, a heavy sandbag squat, mm. and I think you know like four hundred pounds is a pretty fucking good sandbag oh, front squat. So I have this idea of of the of the holy grail to mm. pursue in squats. So it's a. Uh huh. Pretty easy overhead squat, three hundred pounds, mm-hmm. and then you have four hundred pound front squat, five hundred pound back squat, six hundred pound deadlift, and that is mm-hmm. that is the holy grail. But I need something for two hundred and one hundred. Uh, wait. Well, well a hold press on a Press and a bench oh, press. Yeah. yeah. Or, oh yeah. You, you should. What you should be doing is two hundred pound strict press, three hundred pound bench press, four hundred pound, pound front squat. Press. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Three hundred pound bench press. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Well, that, that one's never going to happen. 300-pound bench press, 400-pound front squat, 500-pound mm-hmm. back squat, yeah. and 600-pound pull. Mm. But those aren't all equivalent. It's just like, that's just arbitrarily decent numbers to look at. I like those numbers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there you go. What is the most impressive thing you could do with 100 pounds? Uh, uh, strict chest-to-bar pull-up. I was going to say picking it up with your balls, but... Why does it have to be a kid? Listen, I'm just saying, like, you know... Um, 
All right. What could you do with a hundred pounds? I think if we did one of those squats Turkish with the guy on his ankles, Turkish get up. That's too easy. Too easy. A hundred pound Turkish get up is not okay, that hard. Okay, okay. It seems hard to me, never having done Turkish get up. <laughs> 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 well, it looks hard. <laughs> it's not equivalently hard to like a five hundred pound squat. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I could definitely do a hundred pound pull up. Single arm dumbbell press, though that also seems too. No, easy. that's no, no, no. No, that's really hard. Oh, I know it's hard. I, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard, hard, but it's you know, but is it strict? a mere doubling of the uh, strict press. Plus, how, can you really do a strict one arm dumbbell press without a little body English in there? I don't mm. think so. I think it'll be some body English. No. <laughs> body English. Body you know English. I don't. I don't care. It's just the four movements now. And no, that's we're fine. gonna come up with yeah. something. That's fine. I like the four. Why don't you add useful things like the snatch and the clean and jerk in there? Because that's Olympic weightlifting. It's it has nothing to do thing. with being strong. All right, I've got it. Uh, I've got it. Are you yeah. ready for this? Okay. You need something for 300, you said? 300. Along with your 400, 500, 600, you have that, right? Wait, why is it not bench press 300? That bench press 300. It bad. should be bench press 300, bench but that'll press never is happen. not functional. You might as well, you might as well tell <laughs> what, them to, what do to I bench need to press 1,000 like pounds. Fight myself it's, onto my back? I think you, yes. what, did you, did you PR your bench press recently? No. Did you max your bench press recently? I came close. What that did you max it at? Off. <laughs> I'm 265 is my max. No. I mean, 300 actually isn't that far off. Yeah. yeah. You could get up to the 300 pound bench press. I have noticed, by the way, that if you just come, like I one time just committed to like, I'm going to bench every week for a couple months and it goes up re- pretty fast. And then I just quit right after I, I got to 300. I was like, I bench press 300. I was like, all right, I, I can now say that I did that and then just quit. And I've literally, I don't think ever benched since then at that point. So you could probably get to 300 super fast, super, super fast. Mm. He's saying. not wrong. Yeah. What were you saying about what was I saying? Clean and jerk. And oh smash. yeah, yeah, yeah. You should you should include something that's like conditioning based. Oh, I got that shit. Like, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> you should do three hundred calories on an assault bike in, in 10, ten minutes. minutes? That's oh. a good test. I like that one. And for the one hundred, one hundred pull ups, uh, unbroken. Yes, without yeah. letting go of the bar. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I love giving myself <laughs> rhabdo. I'm down. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't even do pull ups. Yesterday, and my arms fucking hurt. We did we like kettlebell had swings something for three hundred. Though, what was the thing for three hundred? Bench, the bench. overhead we, squat. Oh, oh, uh. no, that's not hard enough. Three hundred pound overhead squat isn't that impressive. Armin can do it's that. Fine. Yeah, I've had I have for a double before. <laughs> so impressive. come on, yeah. you got to be better than that. I've come nowhere near that. All right, so I guess uh, before we leave here, we should probably talk about Wadapalooza. We should. What a pull up. It's what a what? Up. What a palooza? I mean, really, the it's the biggest. Uh, if sanctionals now are our CrossFit season, and historically, what has been the biggest. That is of true. The throwdown thing. That is very did, true. Did we call them before sanctionals? I don't even remember. Anymore. Yeah, I don't know. It was Fit throwdowns, fest. fitness festivals, mm-hmm. fitness mm-hmm. competitions. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Chase and I are actually going to be there at, at Wadapalooza. Uh and it's going to be lit. As yes. Chase said, mm-hmm. None yeah, of, we don't dope. really know what to mm-hmm. expect in terms of the competition. Just they promise me one thing that you'll listen to the Will Smith song Miami at least yeah, once for sure. on repeat the entire I mean, time. That's the only thing actually. I've planned on my playlist. That's right. Yeah. Um, All right, guys. You, uh, fil- fil- film yourself multiple locations, lip syncing the whole of Will Smith Miami to camera in front of various fitness implements. Uh, various Wadapalooza signage, and then we'll edit together a little music video of you guys doing Will Smith's Miami. You'll uh, edit it? Sure. Done. Like it. If you guys do it, I'll do it. <laughs> that, that, that's the easiest that w- that edit in the world minutes. there. Yeah, that's you just sync everything up, and then you arbitrarily chop it up. That's how the uh, music videos are edited these days anyway. Multicam that's clip with uh, 10 shots of 10 locations. Mm-hmm. Super easy to switch with just uh, keystrokes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As long as I don't have to edit it, I mean, <laughs> maybe, that's fine. What are you most excited are, about? Well, one of these days, I'll have to teach you how to edit. You, it's like, you've been doing <laughs> someone, <laughs> please, anyone, please. It takes me so fucking long to edit anything. Uh, you edit your videos? I know. It's hard <laughs> to believe. Um, what is the thing I'm most excited about? Because, you know, someone someone asked me who who was going to be there, like big names, and I was like, oh fuck, I don't know. And then I thought about it, and I was like, oh shit, we got Tia Claire Toomey, yeah, mm-hmm. Sarah Sigmund's daughter, yeah, mm-hmm. Carrie Pierce, correct, Chris and Holta. Man, that doesn't matter. But like that, Danny Spiegel's chick's going to be there. Danny Spiegel, Spiegel, yeah, like that's going to be men's side. 
Patrick Vellner, mm-hmm. Noah Olson, Travis oh, Mayer. Oh, hells yeah. I think it's really just going to be... Alex Anderson. No, Noah... It's going to be Patrick Vellner versus Noah. And Basically. Why, why did Patrick decide on this event knowing that there's guaranteed to be at least one water event and that dude's allergic <laughs> to water? I don't know. I don't know, but he's trying to make a bold statement. So it, it would be a statement if he beats No Olson on his home turf. Waterpalooza be. is No Olson's event. There, won it multiple times. He's from Miami. All that stuff. It is No Olson's event to lose. And Patrick Fellner. I would. I would say Dark Horse, Mitch Barnard. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. the Canadian okay. come down and claim it. Yeah, I yep. think uh, Mitch Barnard's coming in. And I think he he's coming in with a fucking vengeance. Yeah. He. Uh, He's been training super hard. He trains with Brute. He's Brent Fakowski's spirit mm-hmm. animal mm-hmm. and uh, life coach. And I think uh, I think it's going to be really interesting to see what mm. he can do. Yeah, he's a badass. Big as long badass. as he can swim. I don't know if he can swim. Well, he's definitely fucking like uh, aerodynamic for the water. That's right. He doesn't have to wear a swim cap. He has no hair is what Chase is trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Bald fuck. Bald so if I were fuck. programming Wadapalooza and I wanted to subtly program the events in a way so as to maximize Noah's uh, ability to win, what back events to back do I... Back-to-back swimming events, zero yeah. bike. You'd put the yeah. water... Yeah, you'd put like five water events yeah. in there and you would definitely not include a max deadlift. <laughs> definitely no wheelbarrow. Uh, definitely no wheelbarrow. Definitely no bicycle. Do we know what the events Actually, are Actually, all bicycle because it, it fucked Pat Vellner up too. Do so. you know what all the events are yet? No, they haven't announced. They've only announced three of them, I think. If, Two mm-hmm. or three of them. If the water doesn't get Pat Vellner, the fucking angry Miami sun will burn him <laughs> to a crisp. Yeah. Angry if, Miami January sun. And if the angry them. Miami sun doesn't get him, those those goddamn Cubans are going to kill him. <laughs> 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 They're just going to be like, holy fuck, his entire body made of cocaine. Let's kill this guy. Because <laughs> he's really pale. Yeah, I and there's a big drug I trade. I got big in ivory see in my sights. Uh, um, yeah, well, so. it, or maybe Patrick Vellner will have an advantage because his body has not yet become accustomed to the trace amounts of cocaine in Miami's water. Possibly. And so, you no, know, Olsen, we already factors that in. Patrick Vellner, it's going to boost him up to a whole different level. I would just argue that his skin is going to blind everybody else that's competing <laughs> against him. Yeah. Uh, Not uh, only is he already super pale, he's coming from winter. Yes. And it's cold up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Uh what I are mean, you what are you looking forward to, Chase? I'm, I'm looking forward to the the team competition hundred percent because I've never actually seen Rich Froning work out in real life. Oh really? I've oh. been to the central region, uh-huh. but I missed all of his events. Uh, You're gonna see some pretty cool shit, dude. I'm gonna see that. Yeah. And then yeah. I also wanna see how how catastrophic Travis Williams. He texted me this morning, by the way. Does. <laughs> Travis texted me this morning because I don't know if you guys knew this, but I have a I have a wager I'm with him. Bet. Uh, that he's already losing. That he's definitely going to lose. But the wager is uh, regarding how Mayhem does. My bet is that Mayhem is going to win. And he says that Mayhem's going to do fourth or worse. Do you mm. already know all the all the um, events? No, I don't know all the events. I only know the on ones that. that were announced. If yeah. it's programmed like Dubai, mm. then Rich Ferning's taken like third or fourth i don't know man but i if still it's don't programmed even think, i don't even think that's like an actual team competition then yeah. Rich Furning i've seen three of the events and uh so far at least one of them includes the worm, the worm yeah. and includes synchro movements okay. which is basically a guarantee that they're gonna win mm-hmm. yeah um but yeah man listen it is it is definitely up to the programming uh, so it really is the Noah versus Vellner show. Is there anyone else who's up there? On the that? men's side, yeah, it's basically the Noah versus yeah. Vellner show. Travis Mayer is pretty fit. but Travis Mayer is very fit. Mitch Barnard is very fit. He's a good dark horse candidate. But outside of them, I think there's only a handful of people who are going to be able to push. And it really Street. depends on how many swimming events are going to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, if there's more than one, Patrick Vellner might have an, a, a little bit of a hiccup. You know, he might, mm-hmm. he might just dig himself too big of a hole to get out of but with one swimming event and you know 13 scored events over the course of the weekend he should be fine mm-hmm. it just depends a, a large large part of it depends it also depends on what the swims are like paired with mm-hmm. i think last year's swimming event Sandbags. was probably the best swimming event i've ever seen in any games event or any crossfit competition and it was mm-hmm. like swimming air squats and sandbag carries mm-hmm. i was like this is awesome that yeah. that was a super fucking cool event it was way over programmed like nobody fucking finished it but it was fantastic mm-hmm. Now, as the uh, but by the way, in terms of the qualification process, if Vellner wins this, Noah gets in second. But Vellner wins Canada. Does that spot then go to Noah? Correct. Cool. Mm. That spot then goes to Noah. And if if Noah has 
a top 20 in the worldwide, then it would go to third place. Which he may well. Which he may very well. And if Noah wins and then is also wins America. <laughs> Correct. And then it would go to... to I don't know. I'm yeah. just trying to. Now yeah. you're just finding. It defaults other, back to Matt Fraser, and we make confusing. another clone. Yeah, yeah, we make, we just make another clone. That's all it is. So if 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 Patrick Vellner gets a bicycle embedded in his abdomen, <laughs> which is entirely possible <laughs> given his luck. If Patrick Vellner drowns, what I'm what I'm mostly looking forward to is uh, is I, I really enjoy going to Wadapalooza. I like mm-hmm. I like Miami. I like the vibe there. Um, I like a lot of the people there, especially considering I'm only there for like a week at a time. If I, I think if I lived there, it would be a little overwhelming. But being there just for Wadapalooza is super cool. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing everybody. Like mm-hmm. it, it's it is the largest gathering of our peers mm-hmm. and the fans of our sport of our outside tribe. of the CrossFit mm-hmm. outside of the CrossFit Games. That's wild. And that's huge. Mm-hmm. So it's like just the fact of that many people coming together. Yeah, it's going to be, but. Fucking nanas. What are we going to do to mobilize the scale as nation while you're there at Wadapalooza? You know, what are we going to do? What's going to be the what? What's going to be the scale as nation hashtag for Wadapalooza? What if they see you in person? What are they going to do? Find Armin. Okay. Hashtag Wad as nation. And we're going to take a picture with him and where you're going to lip sync Will Smith's Miami with him. Just the chorus. We're not going to go with like Santa Palooza. Yeah, or Santa Palooza would be good. Santa Palooza. <laughs> Listen, and th- this is this is a rule that will be enforced. If you approach Arm and Hammer in person and ask him to lip sync Will Smith's Miami on camera with he him, has to he do it. has to do That's it. Legally true. binding. He ha- it's legally binding. I will be there to record it. By the way, we would have the best video yes, and? if any if any San people who could find you. We get we get a few who are there. We get them all. S- <laughs> Bowie. The dogs love the idea. The Bowie, Bowie loves this idea. Absolutely so I, loves this idea. And I'm saying Scale is Nation, I encourage you to I encourage you to find Armin when uh, you're in Florida and demand oh, of that him. That works so well. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're yeah, in trouble. Dog. Oh man. For those listening at home, the house just fell down. <laughs> and wild animals got in. Um but I think that I think that's the thing, Armin. Because I and if you can approach Armin to incentivize it, you will know that uh, that your video uh, of you lip syncing Will Smith's Miami with Armin Hammer will be edited by the legendary editor Cliff Bogart, <laughs> Dick Slap Bogart. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I guess that's gonna probably actually end up happening. But if you do see me and you're yeah. wearing a sand shirt, mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. happily. Get a photo with you yeah, and post yeah. that you shit sh- up. You should go up and say hey to him, anyways. I know but he's going to look super pissed. Yes, because that is his general. That is true. That's actually face. very true. Yeah. Chase makes a great yeah. point. Yeah. I have a I have a vicious resting bitch face yes. at events, and mm. uh, and I, I encourage anybody to still well, come it, up through it also, the RBF. It also happens if Armin even gets moderately distracted, like mid podcast, like. The, bre- the the smile fades and all of a sudden it, I'm like, did Armin just like get a text message that like yes, testicular that, like, nut that, cancer? Yes, it's like the results <laughs> came back because he just suddenly gets this thousand yard stare and we realize that it's oh no, it's okay. It's just he just lost focus. It's just him. my face. Yes. It does that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's probably the thing I'm most looking forward to is is people looking past my RBF mm-hmm. and coming to say hello and taking yeah. a picture with me. And hopefully this year, I'll, there'll be just more people than ever because the last few years, the number has been growing. It's yeah. a couple mm-hmm. dozen a day. And, and now it matters. Yeah, now, that, now it's even more important. Last year, it was, a, it was obnoxious. Yeah. How many people came up and went, are you Armin? And I'm, it's that one. <laughs> 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 Poor Chase. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, I guess that's... Uh, In fairness, Armin's profile picture on Instagram is just a picture of Chase's face. That's true. That's very so, true. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And if you are there, come and say what's up. I, I do love meeting people and, and chatting and uh, uh, taking photos and stuff. And so uh, be sure to watch True Detective. Mm-hmm. Next week will be a short week where and Chase and I are both leaving on this early Wednesday into morning. Spider, mm, spider yeah. And into the spider verse. So I'm not sure if we'll even get a chance to record next week. We're going to try and sneak it in early in the week. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But either way, uh, watch True Detective. Watch Spider Man if you can, yes. and we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about True Detective. We're gonna have yes. a whole. There's gonna be, dude. This next few weeks, by the way, mm. let's just lay it out. Yep. 
Wadapalooza, followed yeah. immediately by the Australian CrossFit Championships, yep. followed immediately by Fittis in Cape Town, and then two weeks later or three weeks later is the start of the Open. Yes. You forgot strength and depth again. Strength and depth starts the first weekend of the Open. Oh, shit. And so... Did you sign up? Today was the first day to sign up for the Open. No. No, I haven't signed up. We should all sign up. We should. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's just throw away money. Uh, (laughs) Either way, it's going to be a fucking crazy, like, month and a half. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very wild time run. to try. I think that's why we should fill it out with talking only about True Detective during that period because we just won't have enough fitness content to cover over the next that's few right. weeks. That's right. That's right. You're totally right. I think we're going to lose. We're going to lose a lot of fitness stuff. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, hopefully the the media of True Detective we can keep us busy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get everyone's plugs in. Let's wrap this. Uh, bitch I am up. at Mr. Kyle Bogart on the most central Instagram account on the internet, and you can find Cliff Dick Slap Bogart at Cliff Bogart on Instagram. I'm at Chase504, and you should check out Cellucor and Extend on Instagram as well, because we'll be at Wadapalooza, and we'll have Matt Fraser and Brooke Wells, and no, I can't help you meet them, but if you come by our booth, you might be able to meet them. That's cool. You can find me... I can't help meet him unless he can. So you just bug him anyway. <laughs> you, can, you can find the show at Sand Podcast. You can find me at Arm and Hammer TV. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching and listening. Good luck to everybody competing at Wadapalooza, and uh, we'll see you next week. Later. Later. Later.